So, what causes inflation and deflation of the Kilauea volcano, you might ask? Well, you come to the right place. You see, inflation and deflation of the Kilauea volcano are caused primarily by changes in the amount of pressure or magma within its underground magma chamber. Now, what is a magma chamber? It is a reservoir of molten rock located deep beneath the volcano's surface. It can expand or contract as the volume of magma increases or decreases. Inflation occurs when a new influx of magma enters that magma chamber from the mantle plume. That will increase the pressure within the chamber, causing it to expand and push against all the surrounding rock. That can cause the ground above the magma chamber to rise, which can in turn be measured by GPS and other instrumentation. Inflation can last days, weeks, or months, and is often accompanied by increased seismic activity as the rock surrounding the chamber experiences increased stress. All right, now deflation occurs when magma drains from that chamber during an eruption or moves to a shallower uh, depth within the volcano or perhaps even somewhere else. That will also reduce the pressure within the magma chamber, causing it to contract and the ground above it to subside. Deflation can also last for days, weeks, or months and tends to be accompanied by a decrease in seismic activity. Now, in addition to changes in the magma pressure and volume, other factors can also contribute to inflation and deflation at Kilauea. For example, Changes in the weight of the volcano due to rainfall or lava flows can cause the ground to rise or fall temporarily. However, the primary cause of inflation and deflation at Kilauea is the movement of magma within the volcano's underground magma chamber. Now you know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.